I've been asked over and over again, how did you and Simon get together to form the Vaude Villains? Well, today, you get the whole story. Hey everybody, it's Matt. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to try something out by directly asking you to leave a like on this video. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that alert button. That way you know every time a video goes live. I'm kind of doing this as an experiment to see if asking you directly right to your face helps drive some of the traffic. Thanks very much and let's get to it. We were back all the way in 2014. I was just coming off of that spirited rivalry with Big Cass, which included the singing competition and a lot of shenanigans with him and Enzo Amore. But after that, there wasn't much on the table for me right away. Meanwhile, Simon, Seth Lesser, had come in not too long ago to the Performance Center and then currently was doing the Rosebuds, if you guys remember, along with Braun Strowman and Becky Lynch, uh, going to Raw and or SmackDown tapings to do the Rosebud thing with Adam Rose. Seth would always come in full kind of presentation mode to television tapings for NXT. Mustache waxed up, nice tie, sometimes a bow tie, and... Apparently, the story I have been told, which I did not encounter personally, was that Triple H had looked at Simon, or you know, looked at the roster and saw Simon, and was like, what's he doing? And then kind of looked at me, and Aiden English, this Broadway, this showman character. He's like, is there anything with those two in a tag team? Because at this time, they were getting ready to kind of go on a run with tag teams, because they needed to find a challenger for the Ascension. This is when Blake and Murphy came in. This is when Enzo and Cass really came into their own. Uh, FTR, who was there at the time, American Alpha, these teams all started to form around that time. So the next day at the Performance Center during training, I pretty much remember all the coaches basically running up to us and being like, Triple H wants to see a tag team together with you guys. Come up with something. Bye. And we were like, and me and Seth didn't really know each other. We had met, you know, and, and talked a little bit. He was at the Performance Center. So we kind of, sat down we had heard some suggestions about like vaudeville and things like that and, and basically we got together and just kind of put our existing characters together he had this kind of old time strongman character that he had worked on in the indies and i have this broadway kind of character so i'm like all right let's just basically take this put it in black and white and we're like vaudeville performers so we kind of worked on that together and i had gone home that night trying to come up with a name we met the next day with dusty Rhodes, who even he kind of had told us he was caught off guard. He wasn't sure how he felt about the two of us as a team. I think he had maybe individual plans for each one of us or was looking into that, but wasn't expecting to help us form a tag team. And so we kind of went and I thought we were going to be bad guys because it's the easiest way to debut both of us with our kind of over the top characters. So villains and everyone kept saying vaudeville. So vaude villains just kind of popped out of popped out of our heads and Bada bing, bada boom, we ran with it. And I believe the next day or the next week, we cut a promo. I was in a turtleneck and Simon was in his bow tie and we were the old timey vaude villains bringing gentlemanly conduct. We kind of took a lot of, I'll be, uh, admittedly, we took a lot of Simon's kind of old, you know, quite manly. It was, ve was very much si something Simon had done in the indies. You know, what a real man is. I kind of brought in some of this stuff that I had wanted to do for like an old timey Gangs of New York character. So we kind of just melded those ideas and just started doing promos on promo day. And they booked us in one or two matches on house shows for NXT. And sure enough, the next week, we debuted on television for NXT. And the rest, as they say, is history. 